Hello, AMC students. My name is Professor Albert Romano. I am the chairperson of the department, and I wanted to review some things about the program with you. So let's take a look. That's me on the right. On the lower left is Professor Jean-Marc Rougeau, and in the lower right is Professor Ted Schachter, who are both assistant chairs. So we have two AAS programs, a one-year program, which is essentially students who are transfer students from another school, or some of them who have bachelor degrees already and want to come and concentrate in AMC courses. We also have a two-year program, which is essentially for students right out of high school, and you will complete that program in two years. We also have a two-year BS degree. All students at FIT receive two degrees, an AAS degree and a bachelor degree. So you can move on to AMC after your completion of the AAS program. Now for the one year students, in terms of residency requirements, you have to complete 30 credits successfully at FIT. So if you transfer in two or more major area courses, like for example, an advertising course or a marketing course, you may have to take the three credit internship or possibly two different major area electives. So that's something you would discuss with myself and either Professor Rougeau or Professor Schachter. Now, in terms of academic standards, I think you all know what an A, B, C, D, and F grade mean. An incomplete grade is a grade that is only received if you miss the term project or the final exam with a valid excuse. Going on vacation with your friends or your family is not a valid excuse. You can actually withdraw up until November 30th if you feel that you're basically not doing well in class and are um, you know, possibly failing. A WF is actually a grade where you showed up for one or two classes and then you disappeared for the rest of the semester. and um, you never contacted us, we never heard from you, and you will end up receiving a WF, which is a, an F grade. We want everyone to practice academic integrity, uh, no dishonesty, no collaboration, no cheating, no deception. Do not misrepresent information, and collaborating with other students is also a serious matter. If you are caught cheating on an exam, especially a final exam, you will get an F on that exam and possibly an F in the course. And for very egregious acts, you will be dismissed from the college, possibly. We have many clubs and activities. Essentially, this semester, we're going to be virtual. So, but still, you can meet industry professionals online. You're going to be working on projects. You can create portfolios, and it allows you the opportunity to make friends. In AMC, we have three clubs. We have the Public Relations Student Society of America, which has won many awards. We have W27, the newspaper, and the newspaper is always looking for students to be able to write things and various articles about campus life and possibly you know, many other types of activities. And WFIT is the radio and television club. And there are many other clubs that you may be interested in. You can join any club that you want. There are approximately 75 clubs at FIT. Networking is important. Whenever there is a speaker that at an event or shows up in your class, make a note of it. All right? Get their names, their titles, the company address, and any kind of key remarks. And you'd be surprised that maybe in a year or two, you may be contacting these people explaining that you had heard them speak at an event and you were very impressed and you wanted to have some more information. And believe me, they will be impressed also. And also networking is how you get a job, not on Craigslist, it's who you know. There are many companies that hire um, AMC graduates and also many companies that where our students intern and many of them are you know, hired by these companies. And you can see a whole slew of things here. And especially we wore what? So those of you who know who Danielle Bernstein is, um, she was actually an 
an AMC student and she features me in her latest book. So maybe when the movie comes out, I'll be able to play the role. Uh, internships are sessions that you need to attend either virtually or in person. This year, obviously, we're going to be looking at doing things virtually. And you just have to um, you know, sign in, for example, here at this particular website, upload some information to be able to do a credited internship for the following semester. And internship credit can only be awarded for these internships that are placed with the Career and Internship Center. You could not go out on your own to find an internship and get credit for it unless the company is registered with the school. So we say plan on two consecutive days for your internship. Again, many of these internships are going to be held virtually because they're not taking people uh, into the offices. So we say Friday and Mondays are not consecutive days. Ideally, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. But whatever fits their needs will be acceptable to us. We also have study abroad programs during the summer. One is in London for four weeks. The other one is in Shanghai. Uh, also for four weeks, but obviously until there's a vaccine, some of these programs may be delayed. We also have a semester abroad program at ISCOM in Paris, and this only takes place in the spring, but it's pretty much a replica of the courses that you would be taking at FIT. Note that pre-registration for winter is October 29th and November 2nd for the spring. And make sure that you register for a minimum of 12 credits each semester to maintain full-time status because this will have an effect on financial aid and uh, medical coverage. Consult your academic advisor at least once a semester and also can contact myself and either Professor Schachter or Rizzo for consultation on AMC courses. Um, any faculty member now can do appointments um, with you. Actually, no appointment is necessary, but you can check office hours of your professor and have, uh, you know, meet with them on Blackboard when it's convenient. Uh, keep in mind, whenever someone advises you, write down their name and when you saw them, because there are times there is some conflicting information. Check your degree audit every semester. And also, for those of you who are in the two-year AAS program, uh, we look at the math and English composition for placement. And if for some reason you have not taken the SAT or the ACT, you can take a math and English placement uh, with the school. And if you don't know your placement results, check with the registrar at the email address that you see here, FIT underscore registrar at FITNYC.edu. Uh, do not wait until the last minute to take English comp and math because these are prereqs for many courses and you're only going to end up delaying yourself. Transfer credits, you know, never take a course that you believe you have make, you know, may have taken someplace else. Always check with myself, Professor Rajot and Professor Schachter. Make an appointment on Google Meet or email us and please always include your student ID number when you communicate with us. If you're having a problem, talk to your professor. Don't wait till the last minute. Arrange for a tutor at the following uh, Academic Skills Center. And we also have writing and, and a speaking studio, which is very advantageous and you should take advantage of it if needed. Also, sometimes college life, especially for those of you right out of high school, becomes a little bit difficult and you may need some counseling. It is totally confidential. No one will know that you go there, not even your parents, unless you decide that you want to give them permission, uh, permission to do so. This is what your DARS audit looks like. Um, it looks uh, almost like some kind of uh, you know, part, a board that you have to uh, you know, translate, but it's actually very easy. When you look at, at it on your screen, anything that you see in red is what you need. So that'll tell you the courses that you still uh, have to take. 
Um, that's the second page, or sometimes there's three and four pages of this. So what are some tips on succeeding at FIT? Know your student ID number. And as I said, always put it in a communication message to us. Uh, go to class and take notes. All right? Just don't listen. Uh, studies indicate that students who take notes remember the information better than just sitting there and listening. Um, read your textbooks or your ebooks. You are spending quite a bit of money for these things. Also think and ask questions. There's always something that you can ask about a particular subject matter that is being discussed, so don't be afraid to do so. And get involved on in campus activities. Again, since we're going to be virtual, that does not limit you in terms of what activities you can do. Know the names of your professors. It's important that you do so. Act professionally. Respect your classmates and your professors. And there is remote and online etiquette, which you should follow. Make sure that you have a syllabus for every course. That is the contract between you and your professor. If you do not have one, let me know and I'll make sure that you do get one. And it should be up on everyone's Blackboard uh, shelf for the courses. And make note of who advised you about courses, as I said before. Take note of who that person is so that we know and we can correct any kind of misinformation if that is given. So with that, enjoy the semester. Well, I hope that was informative. And should you have any questions, please feel free to email me at albert underscore romano at fitnyc.edu or professors Theodore Schachter or Jean-Marc Rougeau. Welcome and have a great semester.